So hey, good people of the interweb, we're uh, obviously in a cemetery. <laughs> I'm joined again by Alexa today. She is finally back for all of you who have been uh, requesting to have her back. She is here live and in person. Hey, good people. Yeah, she's uh, it, well, it's not live now because, you know, we're live right now. You're not. Or they won't be. You won't be. <laughs> So uh, it's October, and obviously we're uh, we're feeling you know the the spookiness of October. So uh, why don't you guys jump down in the comments and tell us some spooky shit we can react to? Like tell us some videos or like short horror films, anything that is relative to October and spookiness. And uh, you know, there's plenty of stuff I'm sure we haven't seen. Oh we yeah, for sure. You know, we don't watch every video on the internet. I mean, I like to think that I do, but I don't. <laughs> but, uh, so, uh, Alexa here just, uh, just returned from, from doing some, some touring. Yeah. So I've, 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 <laughs> I've mentioned to, to a, a, a few people. So, uh, how was that? What was that like? It Tell me about it. Was really that cool? <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. I... Um, so what we did, well, we meaning, I guess, the band that I was touring with, um, they're actually from out of state. They're from Brooklyn, New York. Shout out Proper, the band that um, kind of picked me up and wanted me to come on tour with them. Um, they live in New York, so three, they hit me up like months ago and they wanted me to come with them and I had never met them. So three days before we went out the first time, I met them and then we were off. So wait, you're saying that is the band's name proper? Yes, the band's name is proper. Okay, I didn't know if their name was, or if you were giving a proper shout out. Well, I was giving proper a proper, proper shout, shout out. That's proper. Yeah. <laughs> but, so we went out the first time, so it was broken up into two weeks. Um, we went down, sort of kind of into the Midwest, but not all the way. Mid into the middle of America right. um, and then made a loop back up the East Coast. Then the second time we went to like the absolute Midwest and then um, went all the way to the West Coast. Huh. That sounds exciting. It was. I've, uh, I've done that myself yes. a couple of times and uh, I, I don't handle it well. <laughs> <laughs> like I just, as much as I, I love traveling and going yeah. and seeing other places, when it comes to doing shows, like, I can't, uh, I can't do it. <laughs> like, I mean, I've done it, you know, but I just don't like doing it. Oh. But, I mean, sometimes before the show, if there's cool people. Right. And you're just talking, you're getting all excited, and you know that they're, like, excited to see you, and you're like, yeah, I'm so cool. Yeah. And then you get up on stage, and you're like, oh, man, I hate life. <laughs> it's like surprisingly it wasn't like that for me i don't know if it be was because it actually like it wasn't my band because i learned the band's songs right um so in that respect it was a little bit different for me because like that's your music that you were like touring and like traveling so it's like you have a lot on the line with that um for me i was just um doing lead guitar for them so i learned the parts and was just wasn't really like officially part of the band so like they were kind of the they're the faces of you know that band so i was just in there to join so i mean i guess obviously i still had like had a lot going on for me because like i'm at that point like a freelance musician like i'm representing both myself and proper at the same time right so like it, it it that was would intense. make me more nervous i i don't know if my nervousness the way that my nervousness and anxiousness like manifests itself i don't know if it's different nowadays but like i feel a lot more calm and like less butterflies than i did when i actually like performed my own music i was gonna it's say weird. i i was gonna say because I, I remember <laughs> i remember times when you were like super nervous yes when you when you you were gonna be doing a show and you were like super nervous about it yeah like, i remember that shit for sure but like now i just kind of keep it to myself and like if i do get nervous it'd be like certain shows that i think that are like big oh but yeah, like, yeah but like now it, it's different i don't know it's weird so did i ever tell you about the whole uh unearthly experience i don't know so it was us 
Mysteriarch, All Hell, and Unearthly from Brazil. I think you might have told me this story a long time ago. Ah, uh, so we get up there. We're two songs in. Everything's going great. You know, my nerves aren't too bad. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I got to do. You know, and I, I look down. The stage was up pretty high because this was at a ground zero. Oh, yeah. So, I look down, and there's both guitarists from Unearthly <laughs> standing there like this, just watching me. Right. Like, right in front of me. Right. Like, no one else in the band. You know, they, were, they weren't concerned with Jessica or Wayne or Mike or anybody. It was yeah. just me. Because guitarists like to watch guitarists. Well, as soon as I noticed them, my hands stopped moving. Oh, no. I was like... I was like, oh shit. And I was trying to remember what to play. And I like started trying to start the song over again in my head. And I'm like, wait, that's not right. Oh no. So I'm just like hitting notes and like I don't even know what I'm playing. And I look over and Wayne looks like he's about to freak out. He's like, what the so he's just like hitting shit as hard as he can, trying to make some kind of noise. Like, I was like, oh God. Michael, Jessica, please <laughs> save me. <laughs> it was uh, yeah, that's the that's the kind of shit that terrifies me. Right. That's why I I can't do shows anymore. It's just no. shit like that. But uh, I don't know. Eventually, you know, maybe we start a metal project, <laughs> and we keep it. We keep we keep our our. Our anonymity, like we like be all, head? yeah, or like no I, one knows what he looks like or who he is. Yeah, I was gonna say like Mugwa, oh, or uh, yeah. or Mugwa, <laughs> um, or like hey, what are some? There's a bunch of those like yeah, you know, post black metal bands that you know, depressive, suicidal black metal bands that are yeah. all like you don't know who they are, right? You know, we could do that. Or, you know, we could be totally, you know, on a more egocentric, like, narcissistic kind of level and really let people know who we are. Like, it could go either way. I don't really think there's any is middle that, ground. Is that egocentric to, like, just be, like, just be us? No, I'm saying we'd you mean be, be like, extra. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because, I mean, we, even though we're just us, I mean, we kind of are extra personalities a little bit. I think. In a sense, but in like not extra in like a like a quiet extra. <laughs> well, I can only speak for myself. But <laughs> we, we, we could do that. I don't know. You've been talking about starting a, a metal project for a while. We've been talking about this for like yes. a couple of years now. I've got all kinds of awesome new drums. So many new drums. <laughs> like I could write out like ten songs on the drums, and then we could just take them and build guitars and basses around the drums. And and we could we could do weird like vocal like harmony chants and shit. It would be cool. Oh gosh. Because I know you can actually sing. What? I know you can actually sing. You heard me. Who said, how did you even find that out? I know everything. <laughs> really? Yeah, because I mean, you know, the, at one point in time, there, you had a vocalist for another band that, you know, disappeared and somebody had to step in and do, do some vocaling in, in that, that project. That's very true, but you were not there. So how do you know? I know things. All right. But yeah, and I can't sing, so it would be interesting if both of us were doing vocals. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like chants and shit like, oh, like I can sing that <laughs> shit. I can do that all day long. And I can do a little bit of the, you know, not much, but a little bit. I can't do any of that. Like, well, oh. I, can do the ch I can do the chants part. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? We we could we could do like some weird harmonies and shit. It'd be cool. 
be a very experimental, like, post-black metal new kind of prog. What? <laughs> we just gotta, we gotta try it out. We gotta try it out. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, like, progressive experimental black metal. Okay. Like have elements of like, not necessarily new metal, but like. No, I see what you. Yeah. Like metalcore elements, kind of like some of the progressiveness of, of certain metalcore yeah. songs. Like have that kind of, and then like yeah. a lot of progressive metal band, those kind of elements, and then of course the traditional black metal elements. Right. Because I love black metal. <laughs> but we both have seven strings. And we, we can do. just strictly play seven strings for the project. We can just do open notes. Ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, that would be interesting. Just, just kidding. We're not doing that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I, I guess we're. I don't really know what else to talk about. I mean, yeah, that was uh, a. So yeah, we're we're, we're going I think we're gonna try to do a music project because I know you guys want to see that because then we'll make some behind the scenes like footage of like the actual like writing recording kind of process and put that on the Patreon for all the people who want to support the channel on the Patreon. What? Hey, yeah. So uh, until the next reaction. What's up, good people? Um... I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what's going on right now. Well, I mean, it's not an idea. I just wanted to tell you what's going on right now. So I was at the surgeon surgery clinic all morning. Um, no, I didn't have surgery today. It was just a consultation with the surgeon to kind of tell me like what the procedure is, what's going to happen, what can I, what I can expect, you know, all, all that standard procedure stuff. Um, but uh, I'm scheduled for Monday. This coming Monday, the 21st at 5 a.m., um, you know, there's a lot of weird typical surgery stuff that, you know, I can't eat for X amount of hours. You know, I only have clear liquids up until a certain point, you know, all that stuff. And I'm just like, oh, God, why? And I know the surgery is going to be miserable and. You know, it's funny because the anesthesiologist called me, you know, shortly after I left and, you know, wanted to go over like my entire medical history. I mean, I was on the phone for like half an hour, maybe longer. Um, but at one point she's like, so uh, you're single and you live alone, right? And it's like, sadly, yes. She's like, so, you know, for a good, like, 12 to 24 hours after your surgery, she's like, do you have anyone who can stay there with you and just kind of look after you in, in case anything happens? And I was just like, no. I like, I, I can try to make that happen. I mean, it's highly unlikely, but I can try. Ah. But, yeah, so that's... I've got that excitement to look forward to, but um, also, as far as comments are concerned, I feel so bad right now. I've seen that there have been a ton of comments. Uh, there's been comments on so many different videos and, like, so many comments on, like, certain videos. Like, I just, I haven't really had the opportunity. Like, I spent, uh, as you just saw, like, I hung out with Alexa you know, and we, we went to the cemetery. We went to two cemeteries. Uh, you know, we went to the record store. Uh, we went to this little spot called Common Market where they sell, like, all kinds of cool beverages and, you know, snacks and, like, weird toys. Like, adult type. To not that kind of adult, but, like, weird shit. Like, uh, action figures of the people from Breaking 2 Electric Boogaloo. Uh, you know, the action figures of the misfits like just weird shit like that but it's cool um but you know i i had some gin, ginger ginger soda ginger brew whatever you want to call it uh that was really good because i've never really drink those anymore because i've tried to cut the sugar out you know what i mean um 
But at the record store, it's all the way over there. I'm not going to fuck with it. I, I I finally got Mayhem Death Crush on vinyl. Like I, I promised myself that I was not going to restart a vinyl collection after I lost my last vinyl collection like five years ago. I was like, I'm not, I'm not buying vinyl anymore. Only CDs because I can listen to CDs in the car. It's practical. It makes sense. I have the physical copy. I'm supporting the artist. And, you know, I, it, it serves functionality. I bought three fucking vinyls yesterday. I bought the new Chelsea Wolf, which I had already bought on CD. Um, I bought Mayhem Esoteric Warfare, which I already also have on CD. And I bought Mayhem Death Crush, which I did not have on CD. And Death Crush is just one of those albums that, you know, if you're into black metal, you need to have a vinyl copy of Mayhem Death Crush. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really about it for now. Um, I, I want to, the comments. Um, that's what I was, this is what my brain does. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm today I'm, I'm going to try to get to as many comments as I possibly can. Um, as many as my brain will let me, I'm just, I'm not firing right. Um, I'm feeling all sorts of weird, different anxieties, and it's just like, it's, it's fucking with me, and I hate it, and I don't know what to do, but, you know, I've got, I've got, after today, I've got four days in which to get everything right and prepared for recovery, because recovery is going to be a couple of weeks, so I got, I've got to get my shit situated, because it kind of looks like a, a lonely person with bipolar type one with rapid cycling and mixed episodes has stayed held up alone in this apartment for an extended amount of time. That's what it looks like. And that's what precisely it is. Like looking around, I'm like, Damien, what the fuck? But thank you guys for watching and supporting me. I appreciate it so much. Like, this channel would be nothing. It would be pointless. It would just be me doing, probably not reactions, probably just really stupid things that no one would care about but me. And you guys give me something to look forward to and give me a reason to keep doing this. And you make it fun and interactive. And I appreciate that, like, more than I can possibly put into words. And I'm going to try to keep being interactive as much as I can. You know, if it takes me a couple days, I'm sorry. Sometimes that's just, that's just me. But I'm, I'm going to wrap this up because there's not really a lot more I can, I can really say right now. Um, thank you again. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I always gotta have some weird. That that's that's the thing now. Forever I didn't have a thing. Good that's the thing now. Man. Good people being a web, and I do it different each time. Yeah. Oh, I should probably stop it. Yeah, I thought you stopped it. You did. <laughs>